He has some serious mommy issues. Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. Your boy Al is here with episode 8 review of Ashinoko season 2 so let's get acting. At first we see Melt and Kamashita perform in the Tokyo Blade stage play. Then, the scene shifts to Kana discussing her recent performance with Akane with Taiki. Kana explains why she chose to coordinate for Akane, Taiki, and the others. After Taiki mentions his glasses issue, Kana asks why he's studying the play's script. Taiki admits he's worried Akane might outshine them in the next scene, but he plans to ad-lib and asks Kana to play off that technique. I get the feeling that Taiki thinks he is better than everyone else here, but it's not because he is arrogant or anything, rather he is just that much confident of himself. Also I'm not sure whether Taiki wants to help Kana or just outperform others. Then we see Kana agree to Taiki's plan. Aqua and Taiki perform their scene, with Taiki encouraging Aqua to give his best effort. However, Aqua internally decides not to and explains his reasoning. Meanwhile, two other performers discuss Aqua's strategy, with the male performer noting both its brilliance and its flaws. Akane and Kana join the scene, with Kana falling into Aqua's arms and noticing his ad-libbing. Aqua continues with the script, and Kana recognizes his skill in playing off others. In a symbolic moment, Kana realizes Aqua wants her to reclaim the spotlight and leave her coordinator role behind. I loved how they animated the whole inner monologue of Kana and Aqua, it was a pleasure to watch, especially the color palettes were amazing. Also Aqua is truly a naturally gifted actor. Moving on we see flashbacks of Kana's past, narrated by her. Kana talks about her mother's dreams, the successes she achieved through Kana's fame, and how things changed when Kana's popularity faded, leading to tensions between her parents. Her mother's emotional decline pushed Kana to find ways to stay relevant in the entertainment industry. Kana also reflects on Taishir's words, realizing that adults prefer working with actors who are easy to manage rather than those with just raw talent. This prompted Kana to adapt her behavior to align with others' expectations. I simply don't understand why some parents get so pushy and force their dreams onto their kids. I mean kids have their own thoughts and choices to make, so parents should respect those choices unless those choices are bad. Next we see that after receiving encouraging words from Aqua, Kana reverts to her original acting style. Aqua, Akane, and others take notice of Kana's renewed stage presence. Aqua reflects on how he differs from Kana and Akane. Akane then performs a self-sacrifice scene, collapsing on stage, with Aqua kneeling beside her. Flashbacks follow, showing conversations between Aqua, Akane, and Taishir. Taishir talks about panic attacks with Aqua and mentions his suspicion that Aqua feels guilty about Ai's death. He also suspects Aqua is acting primarily to seek revenge, which Aqua confirms. Taishir advises Aqua to endure suffering while he performs. Seriously, Aqua has mommy issues, I'm not saying it's easy to move on from something that you feel guilty about, but you should at least give it a try, rather than clinging onto your guilt forever. Also it was hilarious to see Akane go full on fangirl mode over Kana. At the end we see that in the present, Aqua embodies this acting style on stage. Taiki disarms Aqua, but Aqua shocks everyone by biting Taiki. Aqua then declares that, for him, acting is equivalent to revenge. Honestly speaking, Aqua looked like a psycho with mommy issues during that last scene, and it kinda weirded me out. Also props to Aqua's voice actor, because the emotions and intensity that he brought out during that scene was truly something else. Overall it was yet another fantastic episode, it's kinda amazing how this show keeps delivering great episodes every week. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep me motivated to make more videos, and you can also leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.